ho, ho. Welcome to the charge. I'm Sir Franklin, and we're taking to the field today with a gimmick. This is one where I have no idea what it's about, but it looked fun. So, thank you for joining. Let's ride. Oh, emails. Assistance needed for data transfer. The lab, dear David, I hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to you on behalf of our team. We're facing a critical situation in our lab, and we require your expertise. We are experts. To assist us with the data transfer task, we have a PC in our lab that contains crucial information, and we need to transfer data onto a floppy disk for backup purposes. We believe your assistance will be invaluable. We kindly request you to come down to our lab at your earliest convenience. The equipment and necessary tools are already set up. Thank you in advance for your assistance. Best regards, Peter. Oh, Peter. And we're David. Gotcha. Okay, we're down in the lab in the basement. Why is there a body? Why is there a body? <laughs> I didn't even look at the controls. I was too busy looking at the body. Well, all right. I guess we work at a morgue? This. The newcomers to the lab, I would say there's nothing to be feared. You must try to convince yourself right from the start that we all fail. But I do have some suggestions on how to survive it. Firstly, have a good breakfast, because that is the only thing you were going to eat. Second, you should stare deeply into the abyss of failure and impending existential crises. Third, uh, note everything you see, even if there is nothing noteworthy. And finally, remember to schedule a nap, Peter. We need to schedule our nap. Cannot forget that. All right, little first aid station. Tools, some random notes. Wash our hands. It's good if we're touching dead people. All right. I actually like this style a lot. Pretty smooth gameplay so far. The leg check, the feet check, nothing there. It's okay. Wait. Okay, so this, it's like the generator. Uh, a little power grid. We've got a washing machine, a vacuum, or I guess a vacuum, like an industrial one. All right, and some gas cans, and looks like an exit is that way, or is it just pointing to that door? This is actually pretty, uh, pretty big basement. Okay, so there's the computers. Software manual. Before we do that, I want to see the rest of this place. We do have a, a phone. Some pink lights that, from the vending machine. Nice. All right. Coffee. You know, it's not a bad setup down here, minus the dead body, and th this suspiciously chained door. Okay. Alien autopsy? Oh, it's alien. Interesting. The extraterrestrial entity has unique physiological characteristics not found in other organisms. Well, it is an alien. Its skin exhibited a smooth green texture, devoid of hair or external features. The tissue samples revealed a complex cellular structure with unfamiliar molecular compositions. A lot of fancy sciencey words here. The alien has a physical structure which resembles humans with four limbs, yet no sensory organs. Ugh. Internal examination revealed a centralized nervous system, a single organ resembling a brain. Further examination is inconclusive. Interesting. So we're down in here with an alien. We have no security. You, you don't think that maybe securing the alien would be the smart thing to do? So it's just under all that. All right. Well, we've seen everything. Now we need to get started on the data transfer. Okay, looks like four servers. Oh, man. <laughs> Sit in the chair. Do not do... Do not do tasks standing like an idiot. That's fair. Turn on the computer. The box on your left. Once the monitor is on, take the floppy disk. Insert the floppy disk into the disk drive below the monitor. Got it. Click on the keyboard just to confirm stuff. Wait for the data to transfer. You know, I'll look around and get some coffee. I, I do. Once transfer is complete, remove the floppy disk. Place it near one of the laptops connected to the main server. It will highlight which one. Do not worry about it. Good luck. Stay safe. Cool. All right. Seems pretty simple. Oh, okay, so we have to sit... Okay, cool. We can turn all the way around. There's a purple pipe. Purple with the blood of the alien they've kidnapped and are dissecting. All right. Uh, let's turn this on. There you go. So far, so good. And now, a floppy disk. Did I...
Oh crap, we didn't confirm the stuff before we did it. Ah, we messed up. I'm already terrible at this job in which I'm supposedly an expert. Well, did say to get some coffee. I guess we're good. Coffee, coffee, coffee. We're getting some coffee. And we on the machine and we put in a coin. Oh. <laughs> All right, they just kind of had that pop up. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we put that there. Is that... Is that it? Okay. Well, it said to stay safe. So naturally, I want to investigate and put ourselves at risk. Yeah, he's still there, just doing alien things. You know, like lying still. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. I guess on to the next one. I do appreciate there's a lot of corners here, which is smart. All right. We did. Okay. All right. That next one's in. And we'll stand up again. Do we get more copy? It never hurts to be caffeinated. Actually, that's a lie. There are several things that could go wrong. If you're improperly caffeinated. No. Can't do that. Well, we already got a coffee. I don't really know what else to, to do right now. Let's go check on the alien again. Alright. Is this covering a door? No, it's just shadows. Alright. I believe it's time to get our floppy. No? Well, maybe there's something we have to do to trigger it giving us the disc back. So let's go this way and let's see if we can find something. We tried that. Um, no, nothing on the bending machine. Good. Danger. Uh, paint can. Oh my gosh. Why do I do that out of order every time? Oh, oh, it's... It's not out of order. It, it does have to be after that. Hello? All right, interesting. Let's check on our alien pal friend. Oh, oh no. That was creepy, there's another note. It's, is, is that lungs? Yeah, it looks like lungs. Don't know why I was like, it's its butt. Butt. Something strange is happening around here. Peter seems a bit off. After the last autopsy, he claims that he can hear someone whispering, talking to him. I have a weird feeling that it's somehow connected to our research. There are things that we do around here which we cannot disclose outside in public. Maybe he feels that pressure. Yesterday, he told me to stay late and asked me if I was willing to do anything in order to keep this job. I was scared, but it's very important to me to have this job. Lab assistant. Alright. I'm guessing that we're in trouble. Oh, uh, Monsieur Alien. Where are you? Alright. I guess our floppy is ready. And right there. Voila. Alright. One more time. And. Yo! Oh man, I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and it's it's interesting when like you don't trigger the jump scare until you move just a little bit more. Well, he's watching us, it would appear. 
Let's go spy on our alien friend. Our alien friend. The guy in green. We'll see him again. Our alien friend. Is there another note? Nope. Well, that's good. That dude was like up close. All right, fine, we'll investigate. That is absolutely not the right thing to do here, but we're going to go see what's making the commotion. It sounded like a door handle was kind of jiggling, so I was guessing it was the chain door, but I'm not really sure. Okay. I don't... Can we just leave? Whoa, buddy. Oh, we're dead. All right, that was not... <laughs> I should not have read classified files in the lab. No kidding. Okay. All right, we're running this back. Uh, we're going to be fast about it, though. So we're not going to read the classified files. We're just going to take the disc and do all that. We got ending three. It's cool that there's multiple endings. So we've already kind of read that and know uh, what to do. All right, so there's that we do just need one more was that the chain door i think it was all right so now we're actually going to do the last one oh thank you when you talk back there Tell you what, we're going to play it safe, and we're going to just put ourselves in the corner. That way, they can't surprise us. You see how I thought that out? I've outsmarted the game, the alien. They can't do nothing. They can't do anything. Sorry, that would be a double negative. It's time... For us to leave this godforsaken place. We haven't read the files. We've done a good job. I wonder what our salary is. What are we making? And what are the benefits? Do we get health insurance? A 401k? Mayhaps? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Alright. Bloody dog. Bloody dog. Take the disc. Put it there. Then we go. We just leave. We don't do anything. Come on. <laughs> this place is not safe. There it is. Leave. We're gonna leave. We're just trying to get out of here. And be safe. There we go. Woo! We completed a given task. Safe and unharmed good way to do it two endings there not bad not bad at all all right well quick one this time we didn't do all the endings i like to leave it up to you guys if you want to try this game out uh, i will have it linked in the description but i think you should give it a try because i actually really enjoyed the setting and i love multiple ending games and hey it's aliens it's kind of cool so i want to thank you for joining the charge today i will see you on the next battlefield Till then.